congratulations on the launch of John Galliano for Dior. Exquisite imagery. Of all the designers and all of the shows that you've photographed over the years, why did you choose Galliano's tenure at Dior for this treasure trove of a new book? It's the most incredible fashion, beauty, hair, makeup, a melting pot of, of exquisiteness. And it just had to be, <laughs> it had to be shown. And just a fantasy land. Absolutely. I mean, you're looking at these dresses that must weigh 50 kilos, 40 kilos. I mean, just, they would take up half this room. It's beyond anything that you could imagine. Fantastic. How many images do you oh. imagine you have in your archive? A few million, I think. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of imagery. A lot of imagery. A lot more books to come, I a think. A lot more books to come. Mm -hmm. As Gad, we emphasize the requirement for photographers to both uh, kind of disappear into the environment and yet to direct at the same time. And that's no small feat. How do you compose these vignettes in that setting? It's very noisy. You can't necessarily communicate with the girls. So I think awareness of the space and I think really hand signals. It's what are some like, hand signals? Uh, huh? <laughs> Which is, hi, I'm Robert. Remember me? I'm the nice one. I shoot for Vogue. Yeah. Uh, can you back up a bit, please? I'm stuck against a wall and I can't go anywhere. And if I take your picture, I'm going to cut your head off. Uh, that's, 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 that's a good one. Oh, what, yeah, so, this, so what this, does that mean? You look great. You're beautiful. Um, but can you model a little bit more, please? Uh, oh. Up. That. Grab the girl next to you and let's do a double shot, please. Okay, I'm learning and so they, much. They, 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 the, girls, the, girls, the girls picked up on this quite quickly. Um, mm, can you try a little harder? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I didn't, didn't often have to do that. But, uh, oh, turn around, spin. You got a beautiful. You're getting it. There you go. Um, let's see. Ooh. I think this could be a whole course at SCAD. It, it really could. But the, the most important one. The most important one is. What's that? That's give it a little more life. Okay. Now, I, I like my pictures to be very lively. I, I can't stand it when a girl, unless she stood there looking perfect, and that's just, don't move. Don't, uh, don't move. move. <laughs> and then maybe, look out, look out to the side, as if, off into the, off into the distance. But this is, be lively, be lively, okay, make something lively. happen. Let's get a little bit of a spark, because mm -hmm. I think that was the only direction that I ever had from Vogue, was we want life in the pictures. Well, good to know. I've yeah. learned so much, this is yeah. amazing. <laughs> I love chaos. <laughs> I love crowds, I love mess, um, and for me that's, that's just a sort of second home. Drama. Yeah. Well, I like the drama, it makes for a great photograph, but it wouldn't look like that if you actually went there. It'd be very, very different. <laughs> How? <laughs> it's tiny little corners where things are happening. It's a fleeting moment. Mm -hmm. It's there and gone, and if you don't know to look for it, mm -hmm. you miss it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your study die. I want to thank you for this masterpiece and thank you for creating such a beautiful, beautiful book.